What's good, y'all? It's your receiver teacher. Today, we're going to talk about the importance of sleep, all right, for all athletes. Now, before we get started, I want you to know it's okay to work hard, all right? I used to be that guy that would work out like three times a day, all right, but I was working on like six hours of sleep, and that's actually doing a lot more harm than good. Like, you can work out three times a day and not build a single muscle if you don't get over seven hours of sleep. Only recently, like about a year or two ago, I started realizing the importance of sleep. And ever since my performance, my mood, uh, you know, I've been building muscle a lot more. I just feel better all right, in general. And I have seven studies right here we're about to go through that's going to show that sleep is really the most important part of recovery. Now, it seems like a trend nowadays to get a foam roller, to get a massage gun, all this shit. But really, that shit is useless if you just got eight hours of sleep, all right? Sleep is literally the best form of recovery, all right? When you work out, you're tearing down the muscle tissues, and they rebuild in your sleep. If you're not getting enough sleep, they're not rebuilding. So you're actually getting muscle damage, and you're not gaining muscle. You're actually losing muscle. You also burn fat in your sleep, all right? If you're a guy that's always been chubby, all right, chances are if you're getting under eight hours of sleep, that's probably why. If you started sleeping properly, you would get lean. If you get acne a lot, probably sleep. I used to get lots of acne because I was sleeping six hours. Sometimes would pull all-nighters, all that shit. It's terrible for your health. I could literally go on and on with a list of things that you know poor sleep does to you, but I just want to get to the science-based evidence uh, with these studies. All right, so in a 2017 study, Ricardo Brandt found that poor sleep quality was an independent predictor of lost competition in 576 elite athletes. That means that of the 576 athletes that he studied, all those with poor sleeping habits usually lost, all right? You can, I'm going to link all these studies down below, but I'm just going to rip through these. So basically, um, you know, poor sleep directly correlates to if you're going to win or lose in your competition. In a 2011 study, Sherry Ma identified significant improvements in sprint times when college basketball players went uh, five to seven weeks of a two-hour uh, sleep extension, all right? So getting two hours more sleep than they usually would, they just got faster magically, all right? So again, another great reason to sleep, all right? Who doesn't want to get faster? But this is the one that's the most shocking to me and really woke me up or put me to sleep, really. Uh, Matthew Maluski in 2014 found that people who sleep less than eight hours a night on average were 70% more likely to report an injury in their sport. All right, so if you sleep less than eight hours a night, you have a 70% increased chance of getting an injury than people who do sleep eight hours, all right? Just think about that for a second. So if you ever wake up feeling sore after a workout, like I was saying earlier, all right, the, the muscle tissues repair in your sleep. If you're not giving your body enough time to repair those muscles and then you go run again, all right, they're already damaged, all right? They haven't healed properly. So now you're just more at risk of an injury. Especially if you're doing like two a days, maybe three workouts a day, it's absolutely crucial that you sleep at least eight hours maybe even nine hours. This is another crazy one, all right? Less than seven hours of sleep, you're three times more likely to get sick than someone who gets eight hours, all right? That's fucked, all right? Low sleep duration leads to low testosterone, all right? If you're sleeping five hours a night, your testosterone levels decrease by 10 to 15% after just one week, all right? That's incredible. Again, testosterone is key in building muscle, all right, and your energy levels, all that shit that matters, your performance on the field, all that stuff. But low sleep decreases your testosterone, all right? Another reason you need sleep. Lack of sleep leads to low skill development, all right? Same way that muscles repair in your sleep, your brain also retains information, all right? And it is putting that shit in like neurological pathways. I don't know the science behind it, but I know it's facts, all right? That's why it's always better to, you know, study for long periods of time leading up to a test instead of pulling an all-nighter before a test because you're not retaining any of that because you're not letting your brain enough time to, you know, retain the information in your sleep. All right, again, I'm not a scientist, but, you know, the, the science is there. It's in the, bio, it's in the description if you want to read it yourself. And lastly, improved accuracy and reaction time with more sleep. All right, if you're at the line of scrimmage, all right, and you want to see, all right, he's giving me this. All right, if you want to react quick, or, you know, if a ball is coming, you just turn your head and it's there. You want to get your hands up quick. All right. Again, you need more sleep. 
All right, just going back, LeBron James says he sleeps on average, on average 12 hours a day. And he's one of the greatest athletes we've ever seen in our generation. Now, I hope you really take this serious. You cannot out-train a shitty diet or a shitty sleep, all right? It's literally impossible. No one can do it. If you say you can, you're fucking lying, and you're leaving gains on the table. Sleep is the number one form of recovery, all right? Stop with all these, you know, $200 massage guns, all these massages, these foam rollers, all right? If you would just sleep eight hours a day or more, you wouldn't need all that shit, all right? It's a waste of money, all right? I hope you really take this serious because I wish I did as a kid, all right? I could have got a lot better if I was sleeping properly, uh, you know, ever since I was like 10 years old, all right? But I was, you know, always staying up late, trying to do three workouts a day, not letting my body enough time to rebuild that muscle, all right? So I was just, I was never getting better, all right? So just sleep eight hours a day, please, I'm begging you, and you're going to thank me in the future, all right? If you enjoyed this, please follow us on all platforms at Receiver Teacher. Uh, subscribe if you're new, and we're just going to keep dropping videos to help you guys get better, all right? Peace out.